338 Lapua versus 300 PRC. Which one is the better hunting cartridge? Which one's the better long distance cartridge? In today's video, we're going to find out. Now guys, I grew up in the video game era. I'm pretty young. And the cartridge that my generation loved and really overhyped was the 338 Lapua Magnum. If you played video games, this was and the 50 BMG were some of the cartridges. Oh man, I love shooting these in the video games because they're just perfection. In reality, is it really one of the best cartridges? Nah, it depends who you ask. It's, it's a good one, but it's definitely overhyped. Is it a very good long distance cartridge? Um, I'd say it's good, but there's a lot of them that are better. I think it just gets a lot of love because the US military uses it and it's been in a lot of video games. In the last week I've been seeing videos and comments pop up that the 300 PRC is the heir to the 338 Lapua, that it's better, that it does everything the 338 Lapua can do, but better. Now Admittedly, I'm a little skeptic because, well, there's a lot of Hornady fanboys that overhype the PRC cartridges that think it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. So let's find out the performance and compare it to the 338 Lapua. Is it really better? Let's take a look at the 300 PRC performance. Now it kind of sits uh, on the upper echelon of performance in 30 calibers. It's not the fastest. Uh, that goes to the 3378 Weatherby. Uh, its performance is really, as far as velocity goes, is it's very close to a 300 Weatherby. So let's just take a look at the velocities. We'll go with a bigger bullet. Is who buys a 300 PRC to shoot 165 grain? Uh, 180 grain at 3200. A 200 grain at 3025. 212 at 2950. And uh, 225 and 230 at 2850. And then the bullet we're going to compare to the 338 Lapua, we're going to use the 250 grain A tip for the long distance stuff. And that's going out at a respectable velocity of 2700 feet per second. Now, the 300 PRC is catching on right now, at least with the custom builds. And it, it's a good cartridge. It's relatively efficient. It's very well designed. You're really getting the most out of this case. Now, I don't think it's completely caught on like Hornady would want in the hunting crowd that are buying factory rifles. Uh, it's certainly getting more popular. And honestly, I would probably guess it's the second most popular 30 caliber Magnum, just under 300 Win Mag. As a hunting cartridge, is it really offering anything above the other 30 caliber magnums? Not really, in my opinion. And that might be a hot take, but that's my opinion. And I've said this before, I think the only thing holding the 300 PRC back right now is the lack of factory ammo. You know, it's still, you're basically got like three or four hunting options in 300 PRC. Not good. In the mid-80s, the 338 Lapua was introduced. This cartridge is a very well-known military cartridge. It was really built just for military use. They wanted something in between a 308 Winchester and a 50 BMG. They wanted the precision that you could get in a smaller cartridge, unlike the 50 BMG had, and that could reach out a lot better than a 308 Winchester. And it, it is a very powerful, it's a good cartridge. Now, compared to the 300 PRC, this cartridge is longer and has a wider case and holds about 10 to 12 more grains of powder than the 300 PRC. Overall, I would say 300 PRC is a more efficient cartridge, if that's something you care about. But let's look at a 250 grain going 29.50. 270 going 2900, 
a 285 at 2750. And the the bullet I want to use today to compare it to, if it would focus, a 300 grain A tip at 2750. Now the 300 grain A tip and the 250 grain A tip and 30 caliber are pretty similar. The 250 has a little bit of a BC advantage. So it'll be interesting since these have almost the same velocity and almost the same BC. So which one comes out at top at 2000 yards? Let's find out. Okay, we are going to do the data out to 2000 yards. 300 PRC is gonna be using a 250 grain A tip with the Hornady data of 2700 feet per second. And just for fun, let's look at the muzzle energy of 4,047 foot-pounds. It's, it's a big cartridge, and it's powerful. We're just going to go out every, once we start at 500 yards, every 250 yards. So at 500 yards, the bolt's going 2,200 feet per second. The drop is going to be an MOA, and then the wind is also an MOA. The wind is a 10 miles per hour wind. So let's take it out to 1,000 yards. Uh, almost 1800 feet per second drop 26.6 moa and 4.3 in the wind 1500 yards 50.1 moa 7.3 and then let's talk about 1750 that's 10 yards short of a mile and i've seen videos and seen and heard of goobers shooting elk at a mile with a 300 prc Let's just look at the actual numbers. 1,265 feet per second. Guys, don't do it. The bullet's not going fast enough to expand. Plus, it's a mile shot. It's just ridiculous. 65.2 MOA drop for 1,750 yards. 8.9 MOA adjustment in wind. Then at 2,000. The bullet's going 1100 and basically 1150 feet per second, 83.0 MOA in drop, 10.78 in wind. Okay, the 338 Lapua with a 300 grain A tip at 2750 feet per second, muzzle energy, wow, almost a thousand more foot pounds than a 300 PRC. I think we got our answer, which one? Is more powerful for hunting application at 500 yards the bullets going now a little bit faster basically 2250 feet per second your drop 9.1 moa now if you remember the 300 prc was 9.5 so we do have a small advantage for the 338 lapua wind they're basically identical out to a thousand yards 1800 feet per second, 25.7 MOA. So it's now almost a whole MOA advantage over the 300 PRC. Windage, exact same, 4.3. These bullets have very close BC, so that makes sense. Let's just take it out to 1500 yards. Bullets going 1,429 feet per second, 48.6 MOA adjustment, 300 PRC was 50.1, 7.2 in windage. So it's very, very small advantage for the 338 Lapua. We'll just look at 1750, because it's almost a mile, 1,275 feet per second. So even on 338 Lapua, bullets not going fast enough for animals. Uh, drop 63.3 MOA, 300 PRC, 65.2. Windage, 8.9, exact same. Finally, to 2,000. The bullet's going a hair faster, like five feet per second faster. And your MOA, 80.7 compared to 83.0. A small advantage for the 338 Lapua. And then 10.77 MOA in wind, while 300 PRC, 10.78. 338 Lapua does beat 300 PRC. Now I have a friend that has a 300 PRC that loves his 300 PRC. And when I text him that I was gonna do something like this, compare 300 PRC to 338 Lapua, 
He was very quick to remind me that whatever small advantage a 338 Lapua has, the 300 PRC is much cheaper to shoot, and the difference is really not that big, and the rifles, especially in around a 15 pound gun configuration, 300 PRC is going to be much easier to shoot and to shoot it well. So you got to take that into consideration. The 300 PRC is really close to 338 Lapua performance at probably about half the cost. And it's for most people going to be easier to shoot. Now on the flip side, you've got your 338 Lapua fans that are going to quickly just remind you that the 338 Lapua is better at long distance, despite the recoil. And to mitigate that, just get a heavy rifle. Get it in a 25 to 30 pound gun, and there goes that advantage for the 300 PRC. As far as cost, if you're going to be shooting competitively with these cartridges, uh, I, I think no one's going to care about the added cost to reload or buy ammo for the 338 Lapua. All right, so which one is really better? Well, I think it depends on the person. Are you someone that wants to casually get into long distance shooting that doesn't want to put into a ton of money into it? 300 PRC is obviously the answer. The ammo is so much cheaper and you're getting really good performance. If you do not care about cost whatsoever wanting to really get into long distance competitive shooting 338 would probably be your answer but in all honesty there are better 338s that do this a lot of wildcat 338s just destroy the 338 lapua but if you love the 338 lapua yeah it's, it's still pretty darn good